Hello and good afternoon. Welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to bring you a video that was talking about what took place yesterday on CNBC's Fast Money with the president of Coinbase and the CEO of Ripple. It had been slated for about a week that these two would be appearing together on Fast Money on the 6th yesterday during crypto week and CNBC was doing this huge huge production about cryptocurrencies and they're trying to they're trying to they're trying to spin a message and they were kind of hoping that the Coinbase CEO would play along and they set him up good they I think they knew that he wasn't going to be making an announcement for Ripple yesterday and as soon as that information started to come out that he was he was shifting and not willing to really talk about Ripple itself, they dr they dropped the hammer on him. They pulled the plug right from under him. They dropped some pretty important news about Gary Cohn leaving the White House, who they were instantly claiming was going to be horrible for the markets, which I thought was interesting. They had the Coinbase president sitting next to them breaking this huge bombshell of news, at least in Coinbase's eyes, they're trying to start an index fund, so they're going to be basically trying to become the Dow Jones of cryptocurrencies, and it's kind of a long shot, but we'll see how that goes, especially if they keep lagging and dropping the ball on picking up Ripple, or any other crypto for that matter, if they're just going to be stuck with the last edition as Bitcoin Cash, and we all saw how that debacle went then I don't necessarily see good things coming for Coinbase in the future with all of these lawsuits and with the fact that they're now submitting everybody's information to the IRS, which I think everyone should be submitting their info anyway. Uh, that's on a side note. But, uh, and it ended up that this Gary Cohn information took over the rest of the episode. So they went straight from the Coinbase president after they destroyed him, after they basically cut him off in the middle of his pitch, and they went right to this horrible news. They basically set everything up to tumble down, and we actually saw after that the SEC came out and said that all exchanges, quote-unquote, are going to start to have to uh, report and start to uh, pay their dues. So we saw Red Sea today. We saw everything. Ripple tanked. Simple token tanked. Bitcoin tanked, Ethereum, Litecoin, everything literally went down. So if you had money sitting on the sidelines waiting for this, then congratulations if you put it in today because we might have seen the 10 or 12 or 13% pullback that was necessary to kind of hopefully set us up on that trajectory to move forward into the next stratosphere. So let's just kind of keep our eye on all the news. You guys should definitely start to follow all these companies on Twitter and Instagram and really get to know what these people are talking about in the off hours because that's when all this news hits when nobody's paying attention so good luck to you guys and uh, we'll catch you on the next one go ahead and comment down below like subscribe share all that good information and you know obviously i'm not a financial advisor so take this information lightly thanks